I am Anil Kumar. We'll discuss graphing polar equations in this video. We have an example it says graph the equation r equals to 2 divided by 1 minus cos theta. Now to begin with, we can look into restrictions. Since we have something in the denominator, that cannot be 0, right? So that means that 1 minus cos theta should not be equal to 0 or that gives us that cos theta is not equal to 1. All right. So cos theta should not be equal to 1. So within 0 to 2 pi, we can say that theta is not equal to, so cos is 1 for 0, right? So it is not equal to 0 and it's not equal to 2 pi. Is that okay? That will give us 1 minus 1 in the denominator, which will make it 0. So that is one restriction. The second thing which you should look into is symmetry. Since cos is an even function, um, we could write this equation as, uh, let's find what is f of minus theta equals to. So we are saying this is equals to f theta, right? Then what is f of minus theta? So for f of minus theta, we'll replace theta with minus theta. We get 2 over 1 minus cos of minus theta. Cos of minus theta is cos theta. So we get 1 minus cos theta in the denominator, which is the same as f of theta, right? So that shows that the equation is symmetric about polar axis. So that's the polar axis for us. Okay, so we know that the function is symmetric about polar axis, right? Now this is a very important conclusion since now we know that we just need to calculate the values within 0 to 2 pi rather 0 to pi and that graph will be reflected on the polar axis to get the other part of the graph. So now we'll make table of values and find the value for the given function for theta between 0 to 2 pi. Rather theta values we should take from 0 to pi and we should exclude 0 and 2 pi. So if I write 0, I will write does not exist, right? So it is does not exist. Is that okay? Because that will give you infinite result, right? Now let's select few values in between which could help us find reasonable graph. So we could take, uh, let's say pi by 6, pi by 4, right? We could take pi by 4, right? So we could take pi by 4, we could take pi by 3, pi by 2, right? So, so likewise, we could take uh, more values, pi by 2, then we can take 2 pi by 3, 5 pi by 6, and then we can take pi, right? So these are the values which we can calculate. So the function given to us is 2 over 1 minus cos theta and pi by 6. Let's calculate. So 2 divided by, within bracket, 1 minus cos of pi by 6. Pi divided by 6, bracket close. Okay, so two brackets, correct, 1 divided by this equals 2. So that gives you in decimals a value which is, uh, let me write down this, 14.92, right? This is 14.9, let us say. Okay, now let me change this to uh, pi by 4. Right, so let's change this to pi by 4 and then calculate. Right, so now we get in decimals the value 6.82. Let's change this to pi by 3. Pi by 3 is equals to 4. Let's change to pi by 2, and that gives us 2. Now we'll change this to 2 pi by 3, right? So, so we'll write, introduce 2 pi 
and then here divided by 3. Okay, so that gives us 4 over 3, which is 1.3. And then 5 pi by 6. Okay, so 5 pi by 6, this is 5, and this is 6 for us. And that gives us, in decimals, 1.07. And then with just pi, right? So cos pi is minus 1. So minus minus gives me 2. So this will give me 1. Is it okay? So pi will give. Let's do it. Okay. Anyway, so we have this value. And then we have pi, right? Equals to 1. So we have these values to plot. So these are the values of the function f theta. Is it okay? So let's plot them one by one. And then we'll join the points. So, pi by 6 is 14 point, so we have a very small scale, so we'll skip that part. Okay, pi by 4 is 6.8. Somehow, I've taken this to 3. So, what should we do? We'll skip this also, right? Okay, these are big values. Or, let me change the scale for the time being. So, what I will do here is, I'll kind of change the scale. So, so what we have here is, I'll make more circles here, right? So, uh, or let me write these. Let me change the scale, okay? So I'm doing this as 2. This is 2 for us. Okay, let me change the scale. That would be better. So instead of having 1, um, we'll make this as 2, this as 4, and this as 6, okay? So so this is now 2 for us. This is, this is 4 and this is 6 for us. So this is minus 2. This is minus 4, minus 6. We have changed the scale, okay? 2. 4 and 6 minus okay well this should not be written as minus in any case okay forget about it now so let's look at pi by 4 so pi by 4 we already have these two these are pi by 6 and pi by 3 right so this is 2 pi by 3 this is 5 pi by 6 and here this is pi. We'll introduce uh, pi by 4 here, which is kind of here, right? So pi by 4 is half of this. So Okay. So pi by 4 and pi by 4 on this side. Okay, that's fine. Correct. So let's say this is pi by 4 for us. 1, 2, 3 pi by 4. Okay. I think that's sufficient. Okay. Now, let's plot these points. At pi by 4, it is 6.82. So, either at pi by 4, it's kind of 6.82. Let's say this is a 6, and let's say the point is somewhere here. Pi by 4, 6.82. Pi by 3, we got 4. So, at pi by 3, the point is 4 for us. Okay. At pi by 2, we have 2. So, pi by 2, this is pi by 2 for us. We have 2. 2 pi by 3 gives us 1.3. So 2 pi by 3, so we're talking about this angle, 2 pi by 3, 1.3. So this is 1. Now, this is 2, right? So 1.3 is kind of here. 5 pi by 6, that is this line. That's the angle, 1.06. So midway between 2 and 0. So 5 pi by 6 is kind of here. Okay. And then... Uh, pi, we have the value as 1. So it's kind of 1 at pi, let's say, somewhere here. Is it okay? So that is the graph. So we can join these points with a smooth curve and get our graph. So the graph here will look like this. So that's the graph. And we know this graph is symmetric about the polar axis. So we can get these points on this side also so we get this point here okay and uh, this is at at 2 pi by 2 is at 2 right i mean okay so and this one is at uh, uh, pi by 3 is 4 so pi by 3 is on this circle pi by 3 is at 4 I mean this is we are going like this so this point is when you reflect this 
it is at 4 so it is this point right this point right so this is what it is and at pi by 6 so this point will be kind of kind of here right okay so these are the points which we have so it will be like symmetric about this is not our point right so so if I reflect this graph on the polar axis I get kind of a parabola which is kind of like this. Is that okay? So that is how the graph is going to look, right? Anyway, if you do it on the right scale, you'll get a neater graph. But I hope you got the concept. So what we see here is, is a parabola which opens on the right side for the equation r equals to 2 over 1 minus cos theta. Now in these equations, as you have seen, two important things. Look for restrictions and look for symmetry and then plug in few points once you get them then you can join them with a smooth curve and sketch as we did here in this particular example i hope that helps thank you and all the best